Dave, you founded Glam Squad, which has grown very fast in the last five years, but you are not a beauty professional yourself. Usually people will found a business that they come out of. What was the opportunity you saw? So it was 2013 and mobile technology was really uh, expanding. You know, we called it an Uber for everything moment. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> nobody had really touched beauty, which is a $150 billion US industry. There are 700,000 beauty professionals in the United States, yet technology hadn't really advanced that industry at all. Um, I worked in finance. I had no relation to the beauty world. Um, but you know, my wife is, is, in the, is in the fashion world. And I thought this seemed like an interesting opportunity to change the trajectory of my career. And you were working on Wall Street, were you? I was, I was working at a hedge fund involved in all the worst things that happened in the downturn and mortgages and all of that. Um, and you said, I'm going into the beauty business. I, really, I wanted to do something that created value, created joy, empowered people. Um, in finance, the product is money. I wanted the product to be something a little bit more interesting. Um, and were there other possible, did you have to think a long time before beauty hit you or was it obvious? I can't in front take of you? credit for the initial idea. That was one of my co founders. I was the first angel investor in the business. Right. And I went from being an angel investor to hosting office hours uh, in my apartment. And before I knew it, I had left my career and was doing Glam Squad full time. And that's been almost seven years now. And um, Nick, now what is it like you are a uh, freelance? Beauty professional exactly. with Glam Squad. That's right. And are you happy? Does this work out for you? Are you glad he founded this company? So I'm approaching my mid 30s now, and I can say with full certainty that my time working with Glam Squad has been the best gig I've ever had in my entire life. Why? Why? So ever since I was a small child, my passion has always been artistry and connecting to my inner artist. As a six, seven, eight year old, my obsession was painting and drawing. And then when I turned around 12, 13, I started doing theater. And then in the dressing room as a you know, young teenager, I discovered this makeup, which I could use to transform my face. My first memory of really the light bulb going on with makeup as something that I could use to really transform anyone's experience was when I had to create old age makeup on myself as a little kid doing the show. And I hadn't had a chance to be painting as much as I love because I was in full-time rehearsals. So then getting to use something that was artistic to create an aesthetic was a huge light bulb for me. And again, pursuing a future in wanting to be an artist, it doesn't get a lot of support in the ideas of being able to excel financially, being able to excel in our economy as an artist. And I never really bought that. I always believed that if I followed my love and followed my passion, that I would find my right fit. And it really has been with Glam Squad. Because is it so that, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but the Glam Squad allows you to be the artist that you want to be more than a business owner yourself? That's exactly right. So I've had experience <laughs> working, you know, with actual retail makeup brands where I've worked in store and counter. And that is a focus that isn't as much on artistry as it is about selling product and about being you know, in a retail experience, which is not the way that I connect my artistry to, uh, to clients that I love to work with. I love it to be much more of a personal, transformative, customizable experience. And I wasn't finding that working in a retail space. So as a matter of fact, I stepped away from that. I resigned from that and started to pursue more performing theater ventures because I'd had a background in that and I was still interested in it. And I wasn't able to make a living doing what I really love to do. And, and suddenly, shortly after Glam Squad had come about, I'd heard about it and I, I thought that the option of as a beauty professional, as a freelance makeup artist, having a company that was focused on giving artists and giving beauty professionals and stylists an opportunity to do their work and make a living, sort of on their own terms, really excited me. And I, I thought it would be a good fit. And it turned out to be, like, again, the best gig I've ever had. And I just watched you as Nick's talking. You're just beaming, right? I mean, this is your dream come true, this is, right? This is exactly how we planned you it. You sell him. <laughs> I, well, I mean, if you can't sell him as an artist, uh, you're, you're, you're you're going to go nowhere. You know, everybody uses different services on their phone, whether right. it's transportation or food delivery or home cleaning. Um, but beauty is so different. It's high touch. It's high cost of failure. What we knew from the very beginning was the only way we were going to make our clients really happy was to attract the best talent in the industry. So we built mm -hmm. Glam Squad very differently. We said, how do we attract people like Nick to Glam Squad so that they can be out there doing makeup, 
Glam Squad doesn't do anybody's makeup. Only only the, our team does the makeup and, and the hair and the nails. So that's exactly how we wanted it to be. And additionally, it was about that flexibility and freedom of pursuing other dreams, whether it's schooling, whether it's performance, and still being able to do makeup and hair on your own terms, on your own timeline. You can work one day a week. You can work six days a week, seasonally, however it works for you. This is not how a hedge fund would run a business. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. You know, we, we, this is we, the we, opposite business uh, model. Well, you know, we, we truly believe that Glam Squad succeeds when we make our clients happy, and we make our clients happy by having an engaged team of professionals, um, by building a brand that resonates. Um, we're trying to really change the, the landscape of the beauty industry. Service has not innovated in the last generation. You know, we always say, you walk into a, a salon today, you walk into a salon 30 years ago, there's functionally no difference. There's no technology, there's no change in the experience. Um, we, we think that it's because the structure of the industry needed upending and, and technology has really allowed us to do that. Now, do all of your beauty professionals go to clients' homes or offices or do some run shops? So, uh, you know, all of the, the bookings through Glam Squad are wherever the client and the professional wants. So home, office, hotel, wherever it is, wedding venues. Um, but a lot of our pros do work in salons or they do work in counters or they work in other industries as well. Um, we've made it flexible so any, any combination really works. How did you hear about Glam Squad, Nick? Uh, do you remember? I'm just, how yes. did they find you? Yes, yeah, so I was actually online looking on industry forums and I saw Glam Squad was being talked about. Right. And I looked into it and found that because the beauty industry here in New York, as big of a city as this is, it is still somewhat of a small community. So I recognized names that I had met and worked with in the past years prior, and that's where I wanted to be. Glam Squad has this sort of multi-facing touch where it says one thing that glam squad says about itself that really attracts me as a self-employed freelance beauty professional is it says that it makes their clients look and feel amazing because when you look and feel amazing you make amazing things happen right. well not only do they apply that to the clients who are receiving the service that is also an opportunity for beauty professionals like myself i have the opportunity to, to on my own terms create this working environment where I am experiencing beauty, which makes me feel amazing because it's what I love to do and it's a service that I love to participate in, and thereby I feel amazing doing it. I met you on a call um, where you were going to do the makeup for somebody who was appearing on a video. And Correct. It, it, is that a big part of the business? Does the fact that everybody's doing videos now bring you more work or is that just a tiny part of it? It, it is a really big part of it, it because is. social media, things like, you know, lots of social media platforms like YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, things like that, there are a lot of people who their presence really is their look and, and they sell this sort of lifestyle and beauty and, and a way that it's affordable and that everyone can experience it. So that's very inviting to a lot of people and because of that, I get to work with those people. This is my very carefully curated Glam Squad kit. So this is what I bring. It has everything you'd need from prepping the skin, from perfecting the complexion, to even using color to style the eyes and the lips and the cheeks and different features of the face. What's all on your belt well, there? This Look at is, all those tools. This is my tool belt right here. These are all of my brushes. This is what I actually use to execute the beauty looks. And I'll always start with prepping the skin. Here we have our Morning Glow. This is a Glam Squad product right here, our Morning Glow uh, Radiant Primer. And these sort of refreshing mists that help to give a little bit of a refresh hydration to the skin. Everything you need to contour and highlight, even to add a little bit of color to your lips. What, what, what are these? So these here are pods for using airbrush makeup. So this is actually a silicone-based liquid makeup that uses airflow to apply the makeup. These here are colors that we use for highlighting and contouring. Here we have our Glam Squad enlightened highlighters and contour sticks. I have my mascaras and brow products, and these are tools like sponges and sanitary mascara wands. When you go to do uh, makeup or whatever it is for somebody, do you ask them 
How do you want to feel for this, or that do you figure it out? You, at, you ask, ask them. How do you want to feel? Because for me, again, I don't generally wear makeup myself. For me, it is this artistic outlet that creates a feeling. But what, so what do they usually they say? What, what would be an answer that you would get when you ask someone, what, how do you want to feel? I want to feel beautiful. Okay, they would say that. And because we have this really interesting insight into people's homes, into people's personal spaces, we're able to find what people are looking for and how to create that for themselves in a way that I think other retail platforms don't have. And Glam Squad has been able to custom create a whole line of beauty products, which we have right here, just based on what our in-home clients are asking for. Which I'm not at least what I was going to ask you. Where do you take the business from here? What do you um, do now? Our, our expansion opportunities are, are truly endless. We're in mm -hmm. six markets right now. We expect to launch uh, additional markets in the U.S. and overseas as well, um, building into the product world. We think that the interaction between professionals and clients in home is the greatest demonstration opportunity you can have for mm. products. And and we're also a data business. You know, We're a people business, but we're a data business. Meaning? We know, which means we know about our clients, we know about our professionals, we know their likes and dislikes, we know what uses they're using, why are they getting their makeup done, where are they going, what other products do they use, what products do they like, and we've used that to inform um, our product development, and uh, and that's how we launch Which these products. Which is here. Exactly. And w would you go, if you care to say, into other services, uh, home chefs, or I don't know what, where, where else might you go? For, for the time being, we think that we're building a brand that is a, that is a female-focused lifestyle brand around beauty and yeah. wellness. Yeah. So we do hair, we do makeup, and we do nails. We will continue to expand into other similar areas. I don't think we're going to go into home chefs or repairs or things like that. Similar, it's a different parallel yeah. adjacent exactly. uh, markets to beauty. To beauty, which is, as I said, an enormous market and plenty of opportunity for us as a business. Just what 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 would be um, a market that is related to beauty? Uh, uh, eyebrows, spray tans, you know, things like you that. Have you have a dozen of them. I'm not going exactly. to ask you to name them all, yeah. but you have a lot of them. Well, right? There are a number of them, a absolutely, of them. and other and other product categories as well. And was the name Glam Squad available? You know, funny story. Uh, <laughs> it was available, and uh, it had just lapsed on somebody else's trademark. But the the website was not available. And then two weeks after we decided on the name, um, I was I was googling the name, and somebody had let the the website lapse as well. And I went on and bought it for like twenty dollars. So um, sometimes sometimes the world smiles on you. This, you guys are both smiling at this business story. <laughs> yep. Yeah, great story. Thank, hey, thank you, you very so much. much. Thanks, Thanks so a lot. Much.